Suspense. And the producer of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, the master of mystery and adventure, William N. Robeson. The American standard of living is the highest on earth. We no longer consider an automobile or an electric refrigerator or a TV set a luxury. They're necessities and taken for granted. Who cares if the smallest practical coin is a dime? We've got it made. Yet, in this richest land on earth, there are communities where a 10-cent candy bar acquires a strange and distorted value, where a box of peanut brittle can be worth a man's life. Communities you and I never visit. The places where we, like careless housekeepers, sweep our dirt under the national rug so it will not be seen. The gray-walled communities where thousands of men live a restless and useless existence. The prisons of America. Of one of these, we have a story to tell. Listen. Listen, then, as Skip Homeyer stars in Peanut Brittle, which begins in exactly one minute. Do you know the Social Security benefits to which you will be entitled when you separate from the service and take a civilian job? Here's a tip from Social Security. You wouldn't think of letting your bank savings pile up year after year without getting an occasional statement, would you? Well, your Social Security taxes are similar to savings. They are held for you by the government until you need them. How much money you make determines how large your benefit will be. If you or your employer should make a mistake in reporting your Social Security taxes and it is not discovered within three years, it may be too late to correct it. That's why we say check your account. Better be on the safe side. It's so easy to get a postcard form 7004. Just write to Social Security, Department 15, Hollywood 28, California. After sending form 7004, in a couple of weeks you will get a statement of the amount credited to your Social Security record by name and number. This statement is free, but it must be requested by you. Just ask for form 7004. And that's Social Security, Department 15, Hollywood 28, California. And now, Skip Homeyer in Peanut Brittle, a prison tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Wow, the bell. It jarred you, huh? Well, it's awful loud. You'll get used to it. Everything's loud in here. Bells, whistles, the cell doors. Where you from? Upstate. Put your stuff on the top bunk. That's your new home. What you carrying? What? What you carrying? Time. Oh. One to ten. Climbing in windows, huh? They got me on armed robbery. You ain't gonna be here long. Well, I got one to ten. Man, you'll do a hot minute. The warden will kiss you on the cheek and you'll be home with mother before you know it. I don't know about that. Listen, man, doing time in this joint is nothing. That is, if, uh, if you know how. You hungry? Sort of. Don't be afraid to speak up. Man, you'll always be hungry in this lousy place. You like candy? Sometimes. <laughs> You're a fish, all right. But you'll get to like candy real well. Real soon. Man, it's the only thing inside. You want some? Well, what kind? You never ask that in here. Just take it. You, um, you got any money on the books? What? Money. Credit in the warden's office. So you can have canteen in here. No. Well, how are you going to smoke and eat things you like? Man, after a few weeks, them candy bars start tasting like caviar. Here. Here, have some peanut brittle. Mm, it's good, man. Have some. Thanks. Yeah, forget it. Anyway, we can get a lot more. Ever, ever play dominoes? When I was a kid? Listen, man, you're going to play again. You and me. We're going to play for candy. Lots and lots of candy. Well, the captain of the yard told he us... He told that... you gambling wasn't nice, right? Well, not like that. He told he us... He told you you'd get in trouble. Listen, man, we're going to play it real cool. As soon as you get around this place a little and the head shrinkers get through quizzing you, we're going to hit the yard as the domino team to beat. Well, I heard about those games. Don't it take cigarettes or canteen ducats to get in them? You got big ears, man. Well, hear this. 
We're going to bust into those games with next to nothing. How? The build-up. Huh? You knew. You fish. I'm going to build you up as really somebody, a guy with plenty of dough and connections on the outside. Get it? Oh, I don't know. It sounds kind of like asking for trouble. What happens if we lose? What happens if we have to keep eating this lousy chow? What happens if you hit the rack every night so hungry you could chew the bars off the cell door? What happens if I think you're chicken? I don't know. Now, listen, man, I'm telling you, we can't miss. When I get through spreading the word about you, those guys will break their necks getting us into a big game. Don't you see? We got a chance to clean up. Besides, I know how to play dominoes. I'm not going to let us lose. Oh, um, by the way, my name's Marino. Tommy Marino. What's your handle? Eddie Kip. Glad to know you, partner. <laughs> What do you think of the yard? It's big, isn't it? Seems like everybody who ever lived is inside. The best citizens. Hey, hey, look, over there. That's where we're going to open shop. One of Sky Grogan's games. Who's he? Bad, man. Plain bad. But he's got all kinds of connections. He's got what we want, the game and the loot. I've already told him about you. I don't know. It's a setup, man. Sky wants new players. We're them. I've known Sky a long time. He's been here a long time, too. He's doing it all. Life without parole. But he's a good guy. Come on, let's go over and meet him. How you doing, Sky? Hi, kid. You busy for a minute, man? What's on your mind? I'd like you to meet my buddy I told you about. Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hey, you letting any new guys in this game? Like you, too? That's right. I don't know. What does it take to get in? Canteen ducats, cigarettes, candy. What you got? Some peanut brittle. A half box of it. Is there more where that come from? Sure. Here. Okay. But I don't want any belly aching if you lose. If you win, I pay right then. I want it the same way. You guys playing double or single? Together. You want in now? Well, that's what we're here for. We got our own dominoes. Eddie? Yeah, yeah, here they are. You get over there. I'll stay this side of the table. Hey, Sky, um, who are your players? Uh, Johnny, Sid, uh, yeah. Tom, Hi. Eddie. Hi. 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 Deuce. Here's six for you. Six right back at you. Trey. Trey. Double four. You got it, Eddie. Double four, and I'll put an ace on top of it. Here's five. We'll see it. Noon chow, you guys gonna eat? Not me. How about the other guys? They'll stick if you want to. Well, let's play then. Tommy, we're losing too much. Shut up. Top the tray. I got it for you. And four on that. I'm playing a six. And a deuce. guys forgetting something? I told you we should have quit. Tell me up. You owe me exactly one box of peanut brittle. Those ten pegs say so, right? If that's the way you read them. Who's holding the sack for you two? Eddie here. I haven't got anything. Well, you told me you had plenty of canteen ducks. Hey, cut the bull. You guys come into this game talking big canteen, so I want what's coming to me. We'll get it up. Hey, man, don't say we. You were supposed to back us up. It was your idea. You see? You see what happens when you play with kids? Honest guy, he told me he had all kinds of loot. So naturally, I figured... You're it. lying. I didn't say anything. Hey, man. Man, look out who you're calling liar. Listen, you punks. I want what you owe this game. I want candy, peanut brittle. I want a real quick, a whole box. You, kid, pick a better partner next time. Don't worry, I will. Listen, punk, uh, or whatever your name is... You come into this joint, into this game with a lot of big talk about who you were, what you had. You said you... That was all Tommy's doing. I only told the guys what you told me. I don't get it. You said if we played... Listen, you're new here, so I'm going to give you a break. You get that candy bite tonight. 
After we're locked up from supper and we'll forget all about it. Okay. Where am I going to get it? I don't care where or how you get it, but get it. Well, you better find a way to beat that wall. Tommy, what am I going to do? Oh, how do I know, man? I want to hit the sack, do you mind? Yes, I do. You know I haven't got any money on the books. You know I haven't got any friends outside who'd send me money. Well, what am I going to do? You were the guy that wanted to build me up for us to play. Now you don't know me, is that it? Listen, I thought you was a hustler. I figured if we ever lose, you'd be smart enough to hustle up some canteen. I put something in the game, didn't I? Why don't you be a right guy and help us get out of this jam? Us? This is your mess, not mine. Well, what am I supposed to do? Cook up a batch of peanut brittle here in the cell? What's Sky Grogan going to do? Kill me for a lousy box of peanut brittle? It's been done for a lot less. In a moment, we continue with the second act of... Suspense. Do you know the Social Security benefits to which you will be entitled when you separate from the service and take a civilian job? Here's a tip from Social Security. When you open an account at a store, a special record is usually started for you. When you get a Social Security account card, a personal record is also started for you, using both your name and the number of your card. To be sure your Social Security record is correct, it's a good idea to check your Social Security record every few years. To get a statement of your earnings from the Social Security records, you can use postcard form 7004. This form is yours by writing to Social Security, Department 15, Hollywood 28, California. That's postcard form 7004. And now, Act Two of Peanut Brittle, starring Skip Holmeyer. A tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. got something for me? You know better. I haven't had time to raise anything. You heard me. You heard what I said out in the yard, didn't you? After supper. Well, sure I did, but you got to give a guy some time. Time? Don't give me that time, bit punk. Leave me alone. I'll leave you alone, hanging head down from this balcony. Let go of me. No, let me go. Please, guy. Help! Hey, man, easy. He'll fall. Shut up or I'll heave you over the railings, too. Please, guy, don't let me fall. How do you like hanging five tears up in the air? All I got to do is let go of your legs. Please, guy, what please. What do you say, kid? What are you going to get me, huh? What are you going to get me, kid? Peanut brittle. Peanut brittle. By tomorrow morning, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> yeah, remember, tomorrow morning, when we go to breakfast... I want that peanut brittle. Oh, next time I'll let you drop. A scram. That's the last lockup. That guy's crazy, Tommy. He's nuts. If he let go out of falling five tears, I'd have been killed. He wouldn't have dropped you. That's what you think. I gotta do something. Why don't you go see the captain? He'd be glad to help you. How? Put you on a protection roll. What's that? That's where they put you when the other cons put the heat on the guy. Like if he gambles and can't pay his losses. You're by yourself, huh? Sort of. If you mean the rest of the guys in the yard can't get to you. Well, how long do you stay there? Until the captain figures no one's after you anymore. Maybe that's where I ought to go. I'll tell you something, man. You picked the wrong guy to run away from. Sky's got friends all over the joint. You know what he'd do? He'd pay a guy to mess up and get put on protection just so the guy could get to you. I don't get it. Why all the hell over some candy? We haven't got it. You mean you haven't got it. Okay, I haven't got it. Listen, man. Sky's doing life. And when you're a lifer, you don't stand anybody giving you a bad time. I'm not hurting him. No. 
One guy gets away owing Sky Canteen, some other character will try it. So if you're Sky, you don't let anybody get into you for Canteen. See? Hey, which one of you guys is Eddie? Me. Sky Grogan sent me down to remind you about tomorrow morning at breakfast. He said something about peanut brittle. What am I supposed to do? Fly out of this cell and get him his peanut brittle? Hey, don't give me a hard time. I'm just carrying the word. I'm sorry. Save it for yourself, man. Sky ain't kidding. Well, won't he take any other kind of candy instead of peanut brittle? Sky says peanut brittle. Nothing else. Well, why just peanut brittle? Well, he uses it to get cigarettes or favors from the other cons. Doesn't he want it to eat? <laughs> you kidding? Sky don't like any kind of candy. Especially peanut brittle. He's got stomach ulcers. In exactly one minute, we continue with Act Three of Suspense. This is Johnny Baker with Communism on the Spot. One of the most frequent communist boasts is that they are the real champions of self determination of nations. They claim that this even extends to the Soviet republics, pointing out that under their constitution, every republic has the right to secede from the USSR. Unfortunately, this is merely a paper guarantee. For example, even though the Ukraine and Belarusia have full United Nations representation, they do not have separate governments independent of the Kremlin. Even their budgets are controlled by the central government in Moscow. It's thus apparent that the privilege of self-determination, like other supposed Soviet rights, is strictly an illusion. And now, Act Three of Peanut Brittle, starring Skip Holmeyer, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. What are you doing dressed already? The lights just came on. I couldn't sleep. Hey, man, relax. The sky after you? Oh, chow will make you feel better. I'm not hungry. When the unlock bell rings, I'm taking off. Where? I don't know, but I don't want any more accidents that might happen on purpose. I'll see you. Hey, wait a minute, man. Where's your boy going? Uh, I don't know, Sky. He ain't going far anyway. Hey, man, why don't you give him a break? Well, you want to pay the canteen? Hey, well, why, no, man, I haven't got anything. Neither is he, right? He don't know nobody. That's too bad. If you was any kind of a guy, you'd help the punk. I can't, man. Oh, you're a sad man. Real sad. If you see your boy, tell him there's no use running. Them walls can't run with him. Is the chaplain in? I'll see. You got a pass? No, but I got to see him. Really, I got to see him. Yeah. Yes? Chaplain, uh, hey, uh, what's your last name? Number? Kip. 99319. There's a Kip. 99319 wants special interview. Would you tell him to wait a few moments? Yes, sir. Take a seat. He'll be out pretty soon. Hey, aren't you in some sort of rhubarb with Sky Grogan? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, you do. You and Marino played one of Sky's domino games. You couldn't come up with the loot, could you? That's my problem. Taking it to the chaplain, huh? He can't do you no good. Except take you to the captain so you can sing to him. I'm not seeing the chaplain about that. Oh, you kidding. It's written all over your kiss or you're scared. How long do you think the chaplain will be? Why don't you just pay, Sky? Ain't gonna do any good squawking to the chaplain. Why don't you leave me alone? I'm just telling you something for your own good, fella. I don't need your advice. I can take care of myself. Yeah, sure you can. Where is the man who wanted to see me? 
Why, uh, he just left, sir. He said he couldn't wait after all. Oh? Was he in trouble? Everybody in here in trouble, ain't they, sir? Why don't you take it easy, Eddie? You'll live longer. You tell Sky that. Look, man, I got the solution. Why don't you just hide out somewhere? Then maybe I could scratch up some canteen and... Hide out where? I know a place where no one can find you. Not even Sky. Come on, I'll show you. Why are you worrying about me so sudden? You want help, or don't you? Sure I want help. Well, shut up then and listen. This place I'm talking about is on top of the east cell block. Where? Right on top of the east block under the roof. You good at climbing girders and stuff? Well, I guess so. How long do I stay there? Until lockup, before supper. When you hear the bell, come down. Now, let's go before someone sees us. Come on. Yeah. Now, how about this? Who's going to find you here? Unless... Someone tells him. I don't know. It's awful high up here. I don't have much room to move around. You gonna practice dancing up here or something? Now just sit still until it's time to come down. You can't even see the floor from here. You can't see anything. If a guy fell, he'd just slide off the roof of the cell block. Nothing would stop him. You want to keep away from Sky, don't you? Yes. Well, then stop worrying, man. You're safe now. <laughs> Hey, Sky. Sky? Yeah. Hey, man, I'll make you a deal. Coming from you, it's probably crooked. Come on, man, I'm serious. I got a deal. You know that peanut brittle Kip owes you? Yeah. Put me back in one of your games, and I'll tell you where you can find Kip. Aren't you his cell partner? His buddy? So? You don't like him suddenly, that it? That doesn't have anything to do with it. I'm on your side. Like a rattlesnake. Do you want to find Kip? Maybe. I need some canteen, cigarettes, candy, anything. And your buddy is the price. He's huh? not my buddy. I thought you wanted to get the canteen he owes you. Has he got it? I don't know. He's pretty scared, isn't he? You can bet on that. I'll tell you what, I've been thinking it over. The kid's new, or he wouldn't listen to a rat like you. I'm going to give him a good scare. Teach him a lesson. Where is he? The cigarettes? Candy? All right. You got credit in one of the games for five packs of cigs or a box of peanut brittle. Okay. He's hiding on top of the east block, the yard end. He's up in the girders. There's a flat spot there. That's where he is. How'd you find that spot? I took him there. <laughs> Real friend, huh? Okay, take the game nearest the north block door, and I'll get out of my face. You said you wanted to find Eddie. Yeah. It's great to have friends. Hey, kid. Who's that? Someone coming? Hey. Hey, who's there? Tommy, is that you? Friend of his. Sky! Yeah? It's me, kid. What you hiding for? Look, leave me alone. Please, please leave me alone. You can't pay a man what you owe him clear up here. Can you, kid? Get away. Get away, please. You're making it hard on yourself, kid. You know I'll get that canteen. I haven't got any and I can't get any. Hey, kid, well, wait a minute. Come back. Come on back. No, you ain't gonna get me. Well, look out. Hey, kid, look out. Back of you. Look out. Ah! Hey, boy. All right, all right. Let's break it up. 
Sergeant, get the hospital. Send a stretcher of it right away. What happened, son? I'm hurt. I'm hurt real bad. All right, son. Lay still. Sergeant, you know this boy? Yes, sir. Kip, he's new here. Did you see what happened? No, sir. I only heard him fall. From one of the tiers? I believe the roof of the block. I was on the fifth tier myself checking cells. He fell right past me. Eddie didn't fall, sir. He was, uh... He was pushed. What's that, Marino? I said he was pushed. Pushed? Who pushed him? Uh, Grogan, sir. Sky Grogan. Hey, you! You up there! Stop where you are! Call off the gun, bulls. I'm coming down. All right, Grogan. Make it careful. The captain wants to see you. Marino, you say Grogan pushed the boy here? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I saw him do it, sir. I, I was standing right here, and Grogan pushed Eddie. Oh, All right, you men. All right, get back to the yard. The show's over. Come on, come on. Let's here he move. Is, captain. All right, what were you doing up there, Grogan? Trying to talk to the kid here. Kip? Yeah. Marino says you pushed the boy off the top. He's a dirty rotten He was son. after both Eddie and me, sir. We knew too much about his gambling games. I saw him push Eddie. You're lying and you're... All thief. right, both of you, shut up. Marino. Hey, yes, sir? Look up there where you said you saw Kip pushed. Yeah. I am, sir. All right, what do you see? Uh, the fifth tier. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I mean the, uh, the top of the block. You're sir. lying, Marino. It's impossible to see the roof of the cell block from here. How did you know the boy was up there? How did you know Grogan was up there? Answer me, Marino. How did you know? Oh, Captain, I... Because I told Sky. What are you yelling at me for? Sky, push to my sword. All right, Sergeant. Put them both in isolation. Now, Captain. Captain, you got me wrong, Captain. Eddie... Eddie was a buddy of mine. Uh, a real buddy. I was his friend. Ha, 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 ha. Sure, punk. You loved him till it hurt. You're a real friend. Well, me and the boys in the yard are gonna be real friends, too. We're gonna kill you with kindness. Suspense. In which Skip Homeyer starred in William N. Robeson's production of Peanut Brittle, written by Jules Maitland. Listen. Listen again next week when we return with another tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Supporting Mr. Holmeyer and Peanut Brittle were John Daner, Lou Krugman, Peter Leeds, Lou Merrill, and Barney Phillips. <laughs> Suspense has been brought to you through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. <laughs>